Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to configure your SUP. Uh, SUP basically SUP stands for Software Update Point uh, for your SCCM 2012 R2. I am running Windows Server 2012 R2 for this. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I created a uh, folder core sources so I could drop all my uh, Windows updates in here. And I set the permissions to everyone. So right here, I shared everything out. And the permissions is allowed everyone, okay? So let's press OK on that. Close that. Let's close that up. Uh, within your server manager, you want to go into Manage. Uh, add roles and features. We're going to click on next on this, next again, next again, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom within the server roles. And we want to check Windows service, Windows server update services, right? Uh, we're going to click on add features, click next, click next, uh, WSUS. Yep, we're good for that. So we don't need that. Uh, we're going to click on next. All right, so the final location, I want to store the stuff inside our local C drive. So let's go here and let's copy this. And we're going to paste that. Excellent. We're going to click on next. And we are going to install. And once the installation is completed, uh, we're going to get into our SCCM console and take care of that part. All right, guys. So once the WSUS uh, roles and uh, features is installed, you need to launch the post installation task. So let's click on this. All right, guys. So we're back. It completed successfully with no problem. So we're going to close this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that. And as you can see, our sources folder was pre-populated with two other folders. And we're not going to configure our WSS right now. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to launch our console, our SCCM. Okay, so once your SCCM console is up and running, we need to go into administration. And within administration, we want to go into site configuration, uh, servers, and site system roles. Once you do that, we want to right click on our server, which you're only going to see one item here. So right click on it. And we need to do is add a site system roles. Once that loads up, you get the nice add site system roles wizard. Uh, you don't really need to do anything from here. Just leave everything as default. We're going to click on next. If you have a proxy server, you could just check this off and enter the proxy server name. I don't have one, so I'm going to leave it as a default as unchecked. We're going to click on next. And the system role that we need to install is our system update point, which is the SUP. We're going to check that off. We're going to click on next. From this menu, we are going to pick, uh, let's use WSUS is configured to use port 80 and 443 for client communication, which is the default settings for WSUS. Again, I didn't make any modifications, uh, but this one right here is WSUS configured is used to do 8530 and 8531 for client communication. Default settings, WSUS on Windows Server 2012. So make sure you pick the right one. Uh, again, I configured WSUS on a server uh, Windows Server 2012, so it makes sense that I picked this option. I'm not using an SSL communication to uh, to the WSS server. Uh, allow internet only clients uh, connection, or you allow internet only clients connection, or allow internet and internet clients uh, connection. So I'm gonna do both for this option. Once you do that, we're going to click on next. I don't have a proxy, so uh, I'm not going to set up the uh, the proxy and account settings because I don't have that. So I'm going to click on next on that. Uh, we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to synchronize from the Microsoft updates because we need to gather or grab those updates and pull them down to our server so we can push them out to our machines. So we're going to leave it as a default. Uh, I don't want to create a WSS reporting event, so I'm going to leave that alone. It's really up to you if you guys want to do this, but I'm, I'm not going to do it for this video. So I'm going to click on next. I do want to enable the synchronization on a schedule. So this is really up to you how, how many times you want to run it. I'm going to leave it as the default. And uh, if you want uh, an alert when synchronization fell on any site. So I'm actually going to check that off because I do want to get alerts when that does uh, if you get any issues. We're going to click on next. So in this option right here, I'm going to pick immediate expire software update. And we're going to click on next. From here, you're able to define which updates you want to push down. So I'm just, because this is a testing box, I'm going to push down critical updates. Actually, I'm just going to pull down security updates for now. And we're going to click on next. From this dialog box, we're going to expand it, expand it even more. 
And you're just basically going to pick which Windows operating systems you want to have options. So I'm just going to check all this off. I'm just going to check everything off because I only want uh, Windows 7 for now. I just want Windows 7 security updates. I don't need all this. All right. That's the only thing that I need. Windows 7 is the only updates or security updates that I want uh, to be pushed down locally to this machine so I could push it out to my uh, other machines on the network. Again, if you guys are supporting Windows 8, you could do that. If you're doing uh, Windows Server 2012 or 2008 or R2, you could do that. You could pick these options. But for now, for this video, I'm just going to pick Windows 7. So let's click on next. The language by default, you get a bunch uh, Chinese. I don't need Chinese. So we're not going to do Chinese. I'm not going to do French, but it's really up to you. If you are in another region other than the United States, you could pick the, the language. But by default, it picks up Russian, Japanese, Chinese, French, and German. I'm just going to pick English for now. We're going to click on next. It gives you a nice little summary of what's going to be happening. And we're going to click on next and just let it do its magic. And once it's done, we're going to be back. Uh, it's really quick. So uh, once it's done, you get all green check marks. Once you get those green check marks, that means everything is configured successfully, which is a great thing. And that's it, guys. That is how you configure your SUP, which is uh, SUP, which stands for Software Update Point on your SCCM 2012. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.